Good afternoon. Thank you for being here for this important announcement. The Minister for Justice and I announce that the Coalition Government will introduce tough new laws which will prevent registered child sex offenders from travelling overseas. There will be new legislation which will make Australia a world leader in protecting vulnerable children in our region from child sex tourism. The new laws will prohibit registered child sex offenders from leaving Australia or holding Australian passports. And we will be introducing legislation during the current parliamentary sitting which will make it a criminal offence for a registered child sex offender to leave Australia without permission from a competent authority and that will enable me as Foreign Minister with responsibility for passports to deny passports to registered sex, child sex offenders. Um, if a person is listed on the Australian National Child Offender Register uh, with reporting obligations and a competent authority makes a passport denial request to me, to the Commonwealth, that will be actioned. Uh, there has been increasing community concern about sexual exploitation of vulnerable children and community concern is justified. Last year alone, almost 800 registered child sex offenders travelled overseas from Australia, about half of whom were in breach of an obligation under state or territory laws to notify police of their intended travel. About half of them had been recorded by police as being of medium high or very high risk of re-offending. A number of them, almost 40 per cent, had been convicted of offences against children under the age of 13. And half of this number had travelled to Southeast Asia. So pursuant to these new laws, um, on advice and notification from a competent authority, that is a state or territory law enforcement agency, I will be in a position to cancel, deny or refuse to issue a passport. If the offenders are overseas, when their passports are cancelled, I will be able to issue them with a limited validity alternative travel document so that they can return to Australia. I'll hand over to Michael Keenan to go into more detail about it, but this is a world first. Australia is leading the way when it comes to protecting vulnerable children overseas from the actions of pedophilia, and we are ensuring that Australian registered child sex offenders are not able to take part in the growing child sex tourism trade. Well, thank you, Julie. Uh, and uh, as the Foreign Minister said, this is the strongest crackdown on child sex tourism ever. No country has ever taken such decisive and strong action to stop its citizens from going overseas, uh, often to vulnerable countries, um, to abuse kids. So this is absolutely a world first. We know that uh, we'll be denying passports to around the 20,000 people who are currently have reporting obligations uh, under the ANCOR. Um, and um, for those, uh, and about two and a half thousand people will be added extra year and will, uh, will be added every year uh, and we will continue to deny them passports whilst they have those reporting obligations. Um, now, as the Foreign Minister said, we know that of the 20,000 people on that register, uh, two per day travel overseas and many of them do so in breach of their legal requirement to notify authorities when they do so. Uh, we also know that they are often travelling to vulnerable countries that are out of sight and out of reach of Australian law enforcement. Uh, many of these countries have uh, extreme poverty, um, they have different cultural practices than us, uh, and sometimes they're travelling to countries where these sorts, this sort of offending against children uh, is not even in breach of local law. Now, the Australian Federal Police have advised me that our current legal regime stopping Australians from doing this is completely inadequate, and that's why we have taken this action. We are determined to do what we can to stop, to stop Australians from engaging in child sex tourism. It is an absolutely abhorrent crime. The measures that we are taking, we're urging the parliament to pass very quickly, will ensure that Australians will no longer be part uh, of this uh, very difficult global problem. If I could just make it clear, 
Uh, once a person is registered on the Australian National Child Offence Register with reporting obligations, uh, that will be the period for the denial of a passport. Uh, once they're off the register, no longer with reporting obligations, then they can apply for a passport. If they are on the register and have a legitimate reason to travel overseas, they can apply to the state or territory competent authority who can then provide advice to me as Foreign Minister. And if appropriate, we can uh, permit a registered offender to travel overseas. There is also a category of uh, child sex offender, those who are on the national register for life. They are registered for life. They have lifetime reporting requirements and in aligning our passport legislation with that, uh, they would be denied a passport.